Good morning, brothers. Welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. My name is Scott, and today's shave is, yes, we're going to use artisan-style blades today, the Schick P30s, with my Razor Rock Hawk version 3 stainless steel. And the soap of the day is Captain's Choice Italia. Nice, light almond scent. Um, this initial sniffs similar to Cella, just a sl slightly different in the presentation, but yeah, similar to that to give you an idea. So that's what we're going to do today. I've already washed the face. It's starting to dry on me now, but yeah. <laughs> but I figured we'll, we'll start by showing you putting the, this, taking a three-piece razor apart. Whoops, and there goes the gasket. I'm just going to close my sink. My sink is not full of water today. It was giving me trouble, so I figured I'll just rinse running water today. But okay, there we go. And there's top and bottom. So slightly different for, for this artisan-style razor. So I'm just going to put that face down like that while I grab a blade. Now this one doesn't have the full injector. A lot of times you see an injector because these you know, can be used in injector type razors. Um, some, not all. This, these do not fit the Parker injectors. That's a skinnier, it's not as long a blade. So it is its own special blade. But you pull back in a little loader there to load one in. And there is, see there's a hole in the bottom too. You can put the old one, used ones in. Which I have not done because I have a little um, Altoids 10. I put them, all my used blades in there. Oh, come on. Pull up. Good. Grab it and push it. It's not grabbing it. Why aren't you grabbing it? Put my thumb on top. Does that help? No. I'm having some issues. Let me pause. I'll be right back. Okay, back guys. That took all of 15 seconds. Put my glasses on. It was at the wrong end. It shoots out this end. So I was at the wrong end. That's why I wasn't working. So I, at least we'll find that out. So if I put it back to this end instead. Oh yeah, it's coming out nice. See, there it goes. So yeah, I was just at the wrong size. Wrong side. So there's that. And then we go ahead and put this back to the other side where it goes. So that way I'll know next time. All right, there we go. Put that there. So let me get the base plate. Here's the base plate. Of course, I need to put it, let's see here. Let me flip that around without cutting myself. And then just the pins hold the blade. And I'll show you here in just a second. Sorry, I gotta lower it just so I can see it myself. There we go. There we go. See how the pins hold the blade right there? Those little slots right there. So, okay, now we take the top cap, flip it around in my hand. Uh, uh, uh. Awkward to do up high. This is it's kind of high. I'm, I'm above shoulders here, so it's, it's, it's a bit awkward to do. But uh, let's see here. And of course, the hole's right there under my finger. Move my finger out of the way, put that in there gently. Slide it in. Okay. Make sure everything looks like it's lined up well. It does. See the, see the blade? See it looks even? There we go. Hold that with my off hand. Put the gasket on. Do you need the gasket? No, you don't. Um, it's supposed to just help you know, the finish underneath it just to stay so it doesn't get all scratched up, really. And to me, actually, it does help a little snugness. So I do enjoy it for that. So I'm just snugging. I'm putting my th th my finger underneath it because I don't want to, of course, cut myself. So I snugged it up that way. So get my keep my fingers up. not too close to the blade. <laughs> I'll take glasses back off. I'm Jabber John. Now the soap, okay, obviously, you know, I'm using the Sawdust Creations um, handle, and of course that's the, the Sinbad knot I, from AP Shape Co. that I put in there. 24 millimeter knot, 26 millimeter hole in the handle. And I used it again this week. I used it last week, yeah, it's new, so yeah, I'm, you've seen it two weeks in a row. So it whipped up the soap really well. I did, because it's a 24, not 20, it's not a bigger knot, I gave it three shakes and no squeeze. To whip, and of course, a little extra water does tend to whip soaps up better and it did and of course it's still peaky and it's, it's not like runny so hats off and I did a little experiment too okay so see that see the lather let me just push that down in the bowl you see all that nice peaky lather what I did because okay truth be told I was looking at the ingredients list for the soap and it's just it's a it's a basic workhorse type soap it's not overly indulgent with its ingredients as far as the different oils and stuff in there okay good good classic just regular run-of-the-mill soap. So I, I decided after I whipped it all up to put three drops of glycerin in it, give a little extra slickness. Yeah, it was a judgment call on my part. I'm, plus I wanted to see, does it do anything after the fact? So I put in three drops and I gave it 50 swirls. So it has 50 extra swirls today. But but I wanted to see and pff, didn't affect it at all. Zero, zero effect on, on the on soap quality and consistency. Yeah, did, did, did nothing there. So but we'll see how those three drops, if, how they help me. Of course, I've never used this soap to compare it, you know, as without it. But because the 
Hawk 3 is a little bit more on the aggressive side. I wanted a, that little extra piece of slickness, and that's why I did it. Uh, not knocking the soap itself, absolutely not knocking it. But I was just putting, you know, banking a little extra insurance. That's all I was doing. Oh, the, all, the, the almond scent really comes out when you're putting it on the face. I mean, it was light, very light when I was whipping it up. Nice, pleasant, you know, kind of light. Well, boy, it is alive on the face, I can tell you. It is smelling like sweet, sweet almond smell. Yeah, very much like the cella, but I would say stronger scented. Now that, of course, it's sitting right underneath my nose. Yeah, I'm, I'm really smelling this almond, and it is very pleasant. That's sweet almond scent. Okay, let me warm up my razor. Go. Okay, first pass, artisan style blade on the Razor Rock Hawk. And of course, it's got those those cut slits for, for holding on. And that nice little, what do they call bomb style handle there at the end. And that's good for when you're doing the third pass to hold on to it. Yeah, it works real good. It does. So let's see here. And of course it is two days worth of growth, as usual on a Saturday for me. And you're thinking, okay, would this be good enough to get up underneath the nose? Really doesn't, I'll show you, but no, it doesn't do, it's not anywhere near as good as the, 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 the leaf twig, nothing is, nothing is. So can I get in there? Yes, if this is all you have, you don't have a leaf twig, then yeah, it'll do the job. We're just not as close. If I get in a little closer. Trying to see how close can I get. Okay, left a little bit. There's no like long two day growth hairs there. There's not, there's just up, up close and tight in there. Cause my, yeah, my hair grows right up to the nostril. It just does. Um, so yeah, it's to be picky. It's not 100%, it's probably 98%. <laughs> so it gets admirable job, like, like better than a lot of razors. It is better than most, I'll tell you that, it really is. So, you know, if I didn't have a twig, then no harm, no foul. This is admirable, very admirable. I don't have any little, you know, full two day growth whiskers sticking out, I know. It did get them down, it knocked them down, but I'm not gonna chase it any more than that, especially because I'm gonna shave tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday, I do shave back to back, you know, for church, I do shave on Sunday, so. Because of that, I don't want to, you know, and it's, and it's a tender spot for me, I don't want to risk, you know, overshaving the area and having it be sensitive. So I'm just going to let that be. This soap is very nice going on. Very creamy. Really is. Very pleased with this. And it does have your classic soapy type ingredients, the steric gas, this, that, and the other thing. You know, it does. You can tell it's soap from the ingredients. It has mineral oil, it has a little alcohol in there, which I thought was strange. But I can tell you it is a very soft croppy soap, very soft. And probably the alcohol helps with that, I'm sure. There we go. <laughs> Second pass across the grain. Of course, today is Saturday, May. 27th, it's the 27th, so it's Memorial Day weekend. So first off, let me stop and, and, and just remember what the weekend's for. It's not, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice three-day weekend and a lot for us in the beginning of summer for a lot of people. Uh, but it is also a recognition of those who have fallen for, you know, for the protection of our freedom. So with that, I do want to give the nod to our fallen soldiers and, and their families. So yes, thank you very much. Having a son myself who served Eight years, it's like, yeah, he's still alive. So I am very thankful for that. Uh, but I just wanted to definitely give that thanks to, to those fallen soldiers.
All right, guys, and with that, and I will tell you too that I bought a Blackstone griddle Thursday, put it together Thursday night, and I finished putting it together last night. And I used it last night. I prepped, I, I seasoned it. So I, you know, heated up the oil three times, all that stuff. So I seasoned because it's a steel top, carbon steel top. And I got rid of my 18 year old, 18 year old um, Weber. It's out by the, it's out, out on the street by the curb now for the, when they come to get next week. Uh, so if you want it, it's yours. It still works a little bit. It still will get by a little bit, but it's seen better days. It needs some TLC. We'll put it that way right now. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna probably be making a video later for that. My my sons were busting me on on YouTube for not sh sharing a video of the new grill, and of course I was chicken because yeah, brand spanking new. I've never used it before, and I made some errors yesterday. I didn't use enough oil on cooking the, the the hash browns last night. I made I made smash burgers for those of you who are familiar with the griddles. Those came out two came out good, two did not, because two were not in the heat zone. They were a little bit too far back. So yeah, I'm discovering all that stuff. So it's right now it's still a discovery phase. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it. Um, I was looking at the, the 28 inch. So I will tell you, if you're looking at them, the 28 inches you can tell is their entry um, cost cutting version for like you know less than 300 bucks. And of course pass three here against the grain. Um, but it is short. So if you're shorter of stature, perfect. But I'm kind of tall, so you know I'm. I used to, I used to be over six one, and of course with age I've shrunk a little bit. So I'm was it five ten now? I think. <laughs> but it's still tall. So for me it was a little bit too low. I was thinking I would have to build a little six inch you know stand for it to you know, raise it off the ground. All that. So I. But instead when I was in the Lowe's Home Improvement looking at them. I came across the 30 inch instead, so not the full 36, which is too big for me in my way. It was too, I don't need all that. So I liked the 30 because it was taller and it looked like just it was heavier steel and it came with an attached cover that's this flips up and not just comes off. And so I went with that and it's still two burner because that's all I wanted was two burner. I didn't want four burner, which of course you get with the 36, the full size one. But for, for my wife and I, our needs with occasional company and all that stuff too, I thought that would just be perfect. It's big enough where I can cook enough to, for a crowd, but still small enough where it's not too cumbersome to use. This razor is smooth. This razor is very nice, especially because, you know, the heavier weight of the steel. I had the version two in aluminum before. I had the green one, the Hulk. So if you look at my older videos, you'll see that. Uh, I gave that away to my son-in-law. I'm gonna go ahead and change your pace. Instead of water, I'm gonna go ahead and put cream on for my buffing pass. Because it's there and I got lots of it. <laughs> Just to change it up. There you go, buffing pad. So if my video goes well, and I don't make too much of a fool of myself, you might see it. <laughs> I might post it to the channel. If, however, that, yeah, I make too many mistakes, whatever, that, yeah, just my family's going to see it on, on, on Facebook. You're not going to see that. So we'll see. So I wouldn't hold my breath that you're going to see it. We'll put it that way. <laughs> We're cooking bacon and pancakes this morning and a couple of eggs just because I want to try cooking the different things. I had a hard time with the potatoes yesterday. I did with the hash browns I was saying. Get a little sticky. I didn't, put, I didn't use enough oil. I didn't put butter down like, like the, the other videos I've seen do. Oh, that feels good. That just feels good. Oh, right there. Yep, done. So we'll see how that video goes. But anyway, so back to the shaving. <laughs> Rinsing out the razor. Very admirable. Let me get a little wipe off. There we go. Get a little shinier there as you. So the stainless steel hawk. Definite recommendation from me. Uh, it's been in my rotation for a couple of years now, at least two, three years. I don't remember how long I've had it, but yeah, I, I like the extra heft of it. I did like the aluminum version two ver um, of, of the Hawk. So if you want to try it at a budget friendly price for, was it 30 bucks ish? Um, that's nice, but 
the, the, the steel, the weight of the steel, it's just, it's just smoother. That's, that's really what the difference is for me, is, is the smoothness of it. But let me pause and wash up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. And oh, yes, you'll notice that the lighting isn't as bright in here because yeah, I didn't use the extra lighting today. Kind of, I just truthfully forgot to bring it in and use it. So, yeah, not quite as bright as it was last week. But, yeah, I'm still playing with lights. We'll see. But let me turn on the cold water here because, yes, we're going to do two splashes of cold water to seal it for us. I've already washed off with a warm washcloth and I'll get the excess soap off. So now it's time to seal those pores. Important part of the step, don't forget this step. So let me do that. Alrighty, so yes. And of course the Shave Nation alum. Not feeling any stinging. Just as smooth say is. It's a step up in aggressiveness, I will tell you for that, but it is still so smooth, it's, it's, it's very nice. I'm feeling just a little bit right at the very bottom edge where the whiskers are. So, good old alum is a good indicator of how your shave went. <laughs> there we go, towel, got a fresh towel. Not that you can tell, because I have two of exactly the same towel. <laughs> Just put that one out this morning. I replaced them out. You know, there we go. So there's that. So now I do have the matching aftershave. So that light almond set. We'll see how this is. There we go. Oh yeah, I can smell that in the air. Oh yeah, very light. Nice light little almond scent. Sweet almond scent. Nice. Something different. So that's the Italia scent from Captain's Choice. <laughs> yes, very nice shave, no issues at all. Yes, just really enjoyed the today's shave. So I hope you enjoyed. And with that, have, have a very enjoyable Memorial Day weekend and go with God.